So no, here uh, in this uh, problem, static friction coefficient is mentioned. So we're not going to deal with the static friction of the static frictional force, and we're simply going to only deal with the kinetic frictional force. So we can apply Newton's second law to the x-axis, uh, and we're going to say that the sum of forces in the x-axis for the mass sub 1 uh, would be equal to the mass sub 1 times the acceleration of the system, because the uh, masses are both connected here. Uh, this would be equal to the tension force minus the force of fric the kinetic force of friction. Uh, we can apply then uh, the sum of forces for the second block. This would be equal to m sub 2 g sine of theta minus the tension force. This is equaling m sub 2 times the acceleration of the system. Uh, we're going to add the two equations. And by adding the two equations, we find that the acceleration is then equal to m sub 2 g sine of theta. Uh, essentially, the tensions cancel out. Uh, and so this would be minus the kinetic force of friction divided by the sum of the masses, m sub 1 plus m sub 2. And at this point, we can uh, solve uh, knowing that force of friction kinetic would simply be equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by m sub 1 g. Um, this is given that the sum of forces in the y direction equals 0 for the second mass, and this would equal force normal minus m sub 1 g. So we can essentially assume that the normal force force uh, blocks uh, block 1 would be equal to m sub 1 g, uh, given that uh, the and we know that the uh, kinetic frictional force is equaling the coefficient of kinetic friction times the force normal sub 1. Plug that into uh, the frictional, for, uh, the, f the formula for the uh, frictional force. And again, we solve that the kinetic force of friction is equaling to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the weight of the first mass. And so the acceleration would then be equal to m sub 2 g sine of theta minus mu sub k m sub 1 g divided by, again, that sum of the mass. So at this point, we can solve for A. A will be equal to 3.0 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by sine of 30 degrees, our angle, of, multiplied by the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by 2.0 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. So we find that difference, and then this will be divided. 3 plus 2, 5.0 kilograms. And we find that the acceleration is equaling 1.96 meters per second squared. If we wanted to find force tension, we can simply say that the force, the tension force would be equal we're taking this equation now, and we can say the tension force uh, would be equal to m sub 2 g sine of theta minus m sub 2 times the acceleration. This would be equal to m sub 2. In this case, uh, rather, we know that m sub 2 is 3.0 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times sine of 30 degrees. This would be minus... 3.0 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration that we just found, 1.96 meters per second squared. And we find that the tension force is equaling 8.8 .8 newtons. So this would be your acceleration and your force tension. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.